something that I didn't anticipate or think of ahead of time, which I should have, because I had to build them yesterday, is I need to build like four tent stakes. I'm Chris Thorne, and this is my seven day, $20 dollar store survival challenge. In this challenge, there's only one rule. Take my limited kit and do what I've got to do to make it out the other side. Mm, okay, Bella, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, good morning, everybody. <sighs> Bella's waking me up. Mm, oh, she's all muddy and dirty. Mm, she, I think she, whatever she chased last night, she chased it off to the creek. I got a little cold last night. Oh, so, I put the jacket on, but it's okay. And I got hungry last night. So I ate a few more pecans, making sure everything was good to go. <sighs> but it's time to wake up. <sighs> Morning, dirty pup. How you doing? Oh, you're all wet. Where did you go last night? <sighs> You want belly rubs like this? No, I'm not doing it. Come on. I'm not sure when and if it's going to rain today or tomorrow because it's really overcast. So I'm going to see if I can collect some firewood. So if I can get it in a pile, I can mitigate and try to keep some of the stuff on the bottom dry and protected so not all of it will be wet so I can still get a fire started. Ah, there you go. There's my gloves. <clears throat> Whew. These thorns are everywhere on this tree. Lucky for me, when storms do finally occur, things get easier in the wood collecting department. Yeah, yeah. And if you guys want to keep seeing Bella in more adventures, just comment, more Bella, please. It's kind of like a play on words to Saturday Night Live's Need More Cowbell. It's Bella Cowbell, you get it, it's early. Leave me alone. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Bella, come on, come. It's off to work we go. All right, that's good for now. Oh yeah, I set a trap last night. That'll be good to go check that out. Whew. It's getting a little warm after like 60 degrees. It's way too warm for this jacket. Bella, where are you off to again, huh? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, that girl is go, 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 go. Definitely an inspiration of energy for me. All right, I need to see if we've got anything in the trap. So time to go. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta wake up. I need to, I need to get some like freebie coffee. I should have spent a dollar on coffee or something. <laughs> so before I go tra tra check the traps, just in case I have something, I need to make sure I get like a tripod or something to smoke meat on it just in case because I don't want to want to do that after I've actually processed the animal. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go do that real quick. Uh, Got to go do that. <laughs> you excited for what I was doing, baby? Yeah, I hear you. Well, this is definitely not a silky, but, and oddly enough, this guy right here, not joking, actually works better than the like seven or eight dollar saw that I use in my uh, seven day $100 Walmart survival challenge. This saw actually ends up working better than the other one, which is weird. So, um, I'm worried about the handle breaking at some point, but so far the saw, it's not bad, not bad at all. The sponsor of today's episode is Pro Camp Tech. They are the creators of some of the most powerful, all-weather fire tender for your next outdoor adventure. Offering wax-based blends that are resistant to the elements, easy to use, and they work when you need them the most. Head on over to ProCampTech.com to find a retailer in your neck of the woods. That link will be down in the video description. Do 
you guys are wondering, I don't know a ton of knots yet. Um, I know a few. Obviously, overhand, like I think everybody knows that one. I know uh, slip knot. I know fisherman's knot. I know some of those. I've gotten better. Slowly learning them as I go. Use these for tender later. Woo! Kept it. Nailed it. Keep those for tender. But all in all, this should work out pretty good. Not my best work, but it, it exists. That's good. All right. Go ahead and set this over here. Boom. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Now I can go check traps. So what do y'all think? You think we got anything in my primitive trap? Or is it a total bust? I have no idea. I will be amped. <laughs> if I've never ever done a primitive trap and it actually caught anything. I've never seen anything like that actually come to fruition on any of the modern like outdoor survival channels. I've seen the concept work and I know the traps physically function. Uh, I think there was a documentary in Russia where there was a guy who was a trapper and he would use logs and he would do stuff and be a trapper that way, but I've never actually seen it like unfold for like survival reasons before. I've seen people use snare traps and like yo-yo fishing rails, but that's not primitive, that's all modern technology. Overcast today is nice and beautiful. Oh, guys, hold up. The trap's been, it's been tripped. <gasps> Dude, oh my gosh, oh my God, what is that? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. What the heck? I have no idea what that is. <sighs> okay, I gotta set up the tripod, that thing's too heavy. It's like a 40, 50 pound rock. Wow. Whoa. It's a possum. It was facing this way. I wonder if it just tripped and he wasn't necessarily going for it. Wow. Well, I mean, nonetheless, uh, still a success. Wow. That's, that's gnarly. Thank you, Lord, for making sure that we had meat on our table tonight. And thank you for providing this creature. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, it's time to get this creature processed up. Get you up here for now. When it comes to the processing of this creature, I'm not gonna show all of it. This is not designed to be a tutorial on how to process animals. There are awesome butcher channels and things like that that do that kind of stuff. But uh, like I said, we're gonna get this creature all processed up and uh, get a fire going, get him on the smoke, and uh, we're gonna have meat tonight. Definitely not my best work, but it's food nonetheless. Well, Bella, we're gonna be eating meat on the smoke. I definitely don't want a big fire because that's made of jute. That stuff's super flammable. Day's still not over yet. Yeah, it's still morning. Got stuff to do. I think I might try to improve my shelter today. Got some guaranteed food. Got some solid protein that we're gonna have to work on. Let's do it. Let's go get a new shelter. You gonna give me that moral support and follow me around the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that was, that was a lot of cuts. <laughs> Let 
Man, it's getting warm. It's getting warm outside. It's gonna be a cooker. Started out nice and cool too. Nice and overcast. What a love for that to hang out that way for the day. Dear Lord, please let this saw hold out. Ooh, I'm trying to find small dead standing stuff because we're not trying to cut too many live ones, but there are some invasive uh, tree species out here and the brush here in South Texas is so thick. We want to give a lot of the white oaks and pecan trees and all those things a chance to actually flourish. So clearing a little of this stuff out is actually being a good steward of the land and we're trying to not let them all compete so ferociously because this brush is so gosh darn dense. I do say, I believe this saw has about seen a finer day. <laughs> man, I got a, a random bent tooth, but heck, it did it barely. Oh man, let's see if I can grab the sharpening stone and try to pimp this thing out a little bit. If I can put a little bit, just a smidge more muchness and keep it useful in case I need it. So for reference, I started around 11 o'clock. It's uh, 1.30. <laughs> Mm-hmm. This side wall is almost done. It needs to go up a little bit higher, but this should give me a higher canopy so I'll have a little bit more room inside the shelter. And we can use this more like a circus tent. And since I have some branches directly above me, this should be a pretty easy rig. figured it'd be colder, but you know, South Texas is South Texas, kind of does what it wants. We don't listen to nobody. Like, oh man, we're having great weather. Hold my beer. <laughs> but hey, it could be storming and flooding right now, so gotta count my blessings. You look like you've been off exploring. You look tired. Come here, baby. Where did you go off to, huh? You know, you stink. <laughs> Whoop, don't want to hit you. That'll be bad. I'll hurt my feelings. Whoop, I gotta go tend that fire. Yeah, it's smoking up, coloring up nicely. The key is you actually don't want a big fire when you're smoking, but I don't want a big fire, obviously, because of the jute twines holding it all together. Just enough to flare it up, start smoking, tend to it every 20, 30 minutes. Usually pretty good. Oh, this is coming together. We can go back to the cactuses, get some cactus fruit tonight, get some more of that deliciosity, add that to the awesome possum. We'll be good to go. Ooh, I'm gonna be. I'll be eating like a king tonight. Something that I didn't anticipate or think of ahead of time, which I should have, because I had to build them yesterday, is I need to build like four tent stakes. It's okay, I got it. Whew. It's 
So the piece of wood I picked originally was rotten. So for the sake of speed, I just picked a new stick and I'm starting to carve. So I have an idea because I'm very limited on space with this particular shower curtain. It's not a tarp. It's designed for a very fixed size area for the most part. So it's not as big as a, as a, you know, a massive tarp would be. Um, I'm literally limited. I think it's like a six by six or a six by five or something. It's not very big, but I still have my acorns from yesterday. And I want to see if I grab these the same way I did yesterday and I put them in the corners and then I can get my, another trash bag and start cutting away. If I can find anchor points on here and anchor down without having to use my tin stakes that I just spent 30 minutes making. Curious experiment to see if I can do kind of a, uh, a tent stakeless system because when I'm really limited on tools, I want to kind of see what I can get away with. So I don't know if you guys can see that from last night, but that's an amp bite right there. Ooh, it was fun. So just a little bit of cordage right now. Ah, I lost it. Man down, man down. The first couple were fun. So, so far, I think this is working out pretty good. I want a little bit of overhang. I'm seeing if I can be lazy and get away with uh, only having uh, four anchor tie outs plus the one in the center. I think that'll keep things pretty simple for me on that front. And so far I'm doing pretty good on cordage, I'd say. Still got plenty left for other things. Definitely got way more than enough for something like a fire and all that stuff. But now that I've got a, a, a possum on the smoke, I'm gonna have to go through firewood a little bit more liberally. Overhand not the bejesus out of this thing. Call is done. I got some cactus fruits to go after and some firewood to go get for the night. Yeah, that's cool. We'll leave, all right, you know what? I'll save this for a jupe fluff. There we go, looking pretty good. Oh yeah, it's like a little makeshift table. Heck yeah, man. All right, let's wrap around this bad boy. I know, I know, I know. I probably could have saved cordage doing it another way. It's not wasting a ton. Now I just gotta hoist this bad boy up and we will have our circus tent. Nailed it. Hope that's far enough on there. Casa de Bushcraft is complete. <laughs> Well, it's not 100% done, but it's it's enough done. Keep it out of the elements no matter what happens. Oh man, this is way more room. This is super spacious. I dig it. Jacket. Hey, Bella. What you doing, girl? How do you like it? You like it? You approve? Yeah, I bet you do. Sweet. Well, without taking too much time up, I think it's time to go, uh, let's go get some cactus. Let's go get some cactus fruit, girl. Come on, let's go. Let's roll. We gotta go get some prickly pears. Yeah. And we need to get some more pecans. And we're gonna see tonight if you like possum, little missy. All right, let's go. Come on. Looks like I have two pretty easy ones I can go after. Those two of there are gonna be much more challenging. There's a medium difficulty over there. Almost like it's a video game series. I'm like, okay, which is the hardest? So this one should be pretty easy. There we go what it's all for. Ah, dropped it. You gotta watch where your elbows go, everything. I'll come up on you and give you a hello present you didn't want. So I got two, gonna collect a few more. Gonna help me find all the secret stashes to all the good food for us, huh? Be looking for like a whole pallet of dog food, I bet. <laughs> uh, I love that dog. She's such a goober. Well, it's hard to tell. These dang pecans blend in really well with the leaves. Yeah, that's not bad. It looks edible. We need to get that possum on the uh, on cooking because uh, otherwise I'm going to be up till like 11 o'clock at night trying to cook that thing. Got my bounty full of goodies. Got my pecans, fruits. I haven't had the berries yet. I think I'm going to stick those in the pot. 
I think that would add a good flavor to the possum tonight. I'm gonna rip off a leg. Rip off another leg. Yeah, keep it simple. Do some drumsticks tonight. Keep it easy. A little dirt never hurt nobody. Go ahead and make sure this can be there. About 12 ounces of water left. Hey, baby. How you doing? You smell the food, huh? Yeah? That smell good? You're whatever about it? Okay, we're good. Let's swell these bad boys up. Look at that. I never would have imagined in my wildest dreams that is what my second meal of my seven day challenge will look like. Principal bounty. Let's get these coals going over here. Get some of these to put right there. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Get that capped on. Hot rock. Cool, that'll keep that going. All right, I wanna make sure this thing keeps cooking. I'm gonna move some coals over to it. Oh yeah. I want it too hot. It's not boiling as much anymore, but oh man. That is looking so good. So, I feel very blessed that I have this shelter built. Just realized something. I got glockids all up in my finger. Oh man. They don't hurt. Just I know if I accidentally screw up, it's gonna hurt. The shells of the sugar hackberries and the seeds, I don't eat them. I just take that thin sugary layer and kind of suck it all out. I might want to actually have some of these with dinner. Ah, these glockids are on the bag and they're poking me. Ow, ow, ow. They're like splinters, man. They're super annoying. They're not, they're not horrible though. So I would say like 20 items is super nice. Like it's, as far as it being super budget, pretty solid. Like I am not complaining with the amount of gear I've got. But if I could, I would say request any five items. I wanna know what five items you would pick, but um, based off of the new 20 items that I've got, I would say I would want tweezers for the Glockids. I would want a plate to put stuff on so I can still cook. You'll be eat on it, be a little civilized. I would say tongs, maybe another thing of water, or if the Dollar Tree could somehow come up with an effective water filter for a dollar, which I don't know if that's even humanly possible. I don't have any like tongs or forks or sporks or anything, so thank God I picked drumsticks. But while I'm letting this cook, I did a couple modifications on the shelter and I created an anchor point here and I put a stick down to kind of keep it from moving so much. That's a pretty heavy stick. And I also did that to the other side. And then right here, I anchored this down just because of those ominous clouds we got this morning. I want to make sure that my shelter is going to be A-OK -okay and ready. That thing shouldn't really move. What do you guys think of the shelter? I am really proud of it. It is an awesome improvement, especially for a $1 tarp, AKA shower curtain. Not mad at that at all. I think that is pretty legit. Also being in between two trees, it lets me go straight up and get more of a TP fashion. So I think me and Bella will be nice and dry. Alrighty, let's go check this bad boy out and see how it's doing. Oh. Now that may not look appetizing to some people, but all that rendered fat and that meat and those drumsticks are divine looking. Oh my gosh. And transport this over. Yep, and I can touch that. Take it back to camp. 
Yes, indeedy. Oh my goodness, me and Bella are gonna have some good tasting food. <laughs> you smell the food, huh? Yeah, you smell the food? Come here, sit, sit. Good girl, and we gotta say grace, okay? Yep, yes, we have to say grace before we eat, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal that you have provided to us and so we can keep our bodies nourished and energized while we're on our seven day survival challenge. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Not too bad. All right, Bella, you ready to try some possum? Yeah, there you go. How was that? It's edible to her. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Here you go, baby. There you go. I'm gonna get you a bigger piece. There you go. We're gonna get something really substantial for you, girl. No? Not interested in that part? Okay. Mm-hmm. Guys, this is so good. Oh my goodness. Oh thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Still, I cannot believe. Here you go, baby. You want some food? We're gonna eat this as long as it takes. No big deal. There you go. There you go. Sometimes she gets like pork ribs or steak or something. This is pretty good. You want some more, baby? Come here. Woo, hot, hot, hot. There you go. Come here. No? Okay. You got hungry eventually. Mm, she was sniffing at it while I was processing the possum earlier. So maybe she's like, I know what this is. So, I don't know. Thing is, though, is she'll eat turtle bones and stuff, so maybe because she didn't see them. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am having a blast seeing how certain ideas can come to fruition and actually pan out, which is super awesome. So, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, definitely throw a video, big thumbs up, and we're going to have episode three airing in a few days after this one. Um... Even though I'm physically on this trip right now and I do it for a full seven days and I go out and then after I come back, I edit everything. My upload schedule is typically Wednesday and Saturday. So whichever day this one falls on, it, uh, it's gonna be on the that next date. Come here, hello baby. Yeah, come on. Down, good girl. Yep, it's time for us to go to bed. <laughs> Seems she likes the digs, so Bella approved. I think we're good. We should be dry and warm all night. Love you, Bella. Mm, time to go to sleep.